Hi, I'm going to show you how to build a very simple web scraper that loops through a series of links in a Google Sheet, scraping data from the pages. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. Before I take you through this, um, a couple of conceptual things. So first of all, to start this bot, I've got a sheet full of links already that we're going to, to loop through. Now, I prefer to split my scraping into two. So if you're thinking, well, I'm just going to scrape the links and in the same bot, I'm going to loop through the pages. Well, I think it's better to do that in two separate bots. Have one bot scrape through the links and write them to a sheet or a CSV, whatever is your pro, um, pro oh, sorry, whatever is your, um, my, totally lost my track, whatever is your um, preferred form of output. And then the second part of the bot, which is what I'm showing you here, or a second bot I like to then have to loop through those links. I don't like to combine the two things because they get harder to, to the bots get harder to understand. This division of tasks makes building bots a lot simpler. Okay, let me continue. So I've got a sheet here with links in already, and I want to loop through those using this this bot, this template, and I'm going to show you how to use it and how to build this sort of bot yourself. So first up, you'd start from blank and you click through to your Axiom building page. And you can see here, I've already set up my steps. Now I've done this all without any code. I've built this scraper and it's only taken a matter of moments. If you wanted to do it yourself, you would just add a step. And the first step you would start with is a, a read data because obviously we're pulling data from a Google Sheet. You can also send data from Zapier or from any webhook or from um, pull it in from a CSV, whatever the method you prefer. Then I'm using an interact step where we've got the go to page, which I'll talk more about in a second when we configure this. And then we've got the um, scrape step before finally I output the data that we scraped in the loop. And we send some of that data to a display message so we can preview it to make sure we're getting the data. Then um, we write it to a Google Sheet. Now to configure this bot, you'll need to do a couple of things. It doesn't take very long. First of all, you'd add your sheet. I've already added mine. And you've got a preview of the links here. And so that's all the data imported. What I need to do now is pass that data into the interact step. Let me just do that again. And here I insert data, select Google Sheets, and you can see we've got the lead. And that's going to trigger the loop we see here is on. And depending on how many rows are stored in that sheet, it will trigger the same amount of loops here. Next, we've got the get data. So for, I've got to actually set this up by selecting the content. So I should open up one of these pages. I do that here. Axiom works in the browser, so I can just open it up on this page and I can select the data I want all without code. It's pretty simple. I'm going to click select. I'm going to take its name. I'm just going to scroll this up. You can see the content being pulled in here. I'm going to add another column. All our data is stored and arranged and formatted in pretty much the same way as a spreadsheet. Um, coders will call that a 2D array. Okay, so we've got that initial data. Now I'll just get the job title as well. I'm going to keep it simple for the purpose of this demo and press complete. Now that's the um, scraper setup. Now if I want to output some test data here, I just need to pass the data from the interact step and we'll see some test data put up there. For now, I'm gonna turn the loop off. We just want to see one page and we can also output that to the web scraping sheet I've got set up here. And I'm not gonna have a starting cell. I'm gonna have, make sure I've got add clear we don't want clear existing data because if you have that still on, it will just keep clearing the sheet every time you do a run. I want to add existing data. So it's important to have that configured. Now we're pretty much set to do a quick test run for you. So we're going to do that. We're going to run it on the desktop app. You can run bots in the cloud. Axiom should open up shortly. 
Here we go. This is the exciting part of browser automation. This isn't me doing that. This is the bot. It's pretty cool. I don't get tired of watching this. So you can see it's opened the page, selected the data. If I toggle back to here, the bot should stop shortly and write the data to the, to the spreadsheet. Let's just scroll it down there. There you go. You can see the bot stopped and the um, data is there. That's pretty cool. That's how fun browser automation is. Now, of course, you may only want to get more than one result. I limit my results to one when I'm testing and building my bots. And then you do a second test when you want to get more results, which will do about five. And you would test to make sure you get the same results from each page. Sometimes you may need to delve into the world of custom CSS selectors. Websites don't like to make it easy to extract data. Sorry, that's the wrong one in here and you can like build up your set of custom selectors if you need to problem solve we have more content available on how to do that by and large you'll get a decent set of results so all very quickly all done without code and then when you're ready to get the full amount of results you can you wouldn't limit here because you just click get all and then you do your read data here this pretty much decides how many pages you're going to loop. So worth noting, by the way, is that because we don't specify a last cell, the bot will, if I turn the loop on, as I have done here, it's now on, the bot will loop through all 10 rows before it's finished. And if you've got a thousand rows in there, it will try and loop a thousand rows. So. What I actually recommend is you only use this type of scraper, this very simple interact loop for doing small runs when you want to scrape 10 or 20 pages. We actually have another template which I'll link to below on the, on the, the template page or if you're watching us on YouTube, search for a batch scraper. Basically, um, what we do is we recommend that you only use this type of bot for small runs where you've got, as I said, page 20 to 30 pages when you want to scrape and loop through hundreds of pages and you want long running bots, we recommend you use something we call batch scraping. Now we've got templates, as I've mentioned for that. And we've also got videos and documentation to help you show, show you how to do that. It's really not that hard. It's just adding a couple more steps to this template. Cool. Hopefully you found that helpful. Thank you.